Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. So this video is about the Pokemon Go Fest that happened in Chicago and I've had a few messages asking me about what I thought about it. So to make everything clear, I was not contacted by Niantic, I did not go to the Pokemon Go Fest, I was not sponsored by Niantic, I did not play the game, I was not part of the Pokemon Go Fest at all. This is an outsider perspective and what I think happened. And trust me, I've done a lot of research, watched lots of videos to figure out what happened. And while Niantic is to blame for some of it, I don't think what happened on the day was their fault. And I'm gonna get into it. So firstly, let's just break down the day. So people who were invited by Niantic got in earlier and they had access to the venue earlier. That didn't mean they had access to legendaries or any of the like special Pokestops, they had none of it, but they just meant they were in the venue earlier so they could record and show, show off the venue. As people started rolling in, the problem started beginning. You have to understand the way it works. So because Pokemon Go Fest happened in such a small venue, there was only a few cell towers that had to handle all that pressure. So, so the same thing as when you go to a concert. However, keep this in mind, when you go to a concert, not everyone is on their phone and people have issues with reception because a single one or two cell towers try to handle everyone in such a small place but on pokemon go everyone's on their phone and not everyone is on their phone texting but everyone is on their phone playing a heavy game something that's going to require a lot of data so keep this in mind and while niantic as far as i'm aware contacted all the cell providers and told them that this is what's going to happen we're going to have this many people everyone's like yep no worries you know typical company stuff so everyone's like to niantic yep 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 we got it we can handle this we've got this covered no problem at all what happened is like only the first few thousand people have came disaster and you know what it, like it's obvious it's going to happen like it was always going to happen niantic did ask everyone if they've got it covered and everyone's like yep 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 we got it we can handle the load and clearly they couldn't and sprint who was partnered with niantic for this had portable cell towers there which niantic asked for and they were the only ones that actually brought these portable cell towers out blaming niantic for all of this i think is wrong and i really really genuinely genuinely don't agree with what happened when they were there and i totally understand people flew like like hours and hours and spent lots of money to be there and I, I, I do I get it but that doesn't mean booing John Hankey the CEO of Niantic when he got up to speak was the right thing to do it was inappropriate I think the worst part even probably more than booing the CEO of Niantic off the stage had to be just had to be the host so the girl who got up to talk I get it I understand everyone's pissed off. There's all these legendaries and all these rare Pokemon everyone's trying to catch. There's all these unknown everyone's trying to catch. The girl that got up to speak on the stage was the host. She, this is her job. All she has to do is just announce things. She had nothing to do with this going wrong and there's no reason to shout at her and boo her off the stage as she's trying to just keep a positive vibe going on. And the worst part was someone threw a water bottle at her. Relax. Like, we get, like, everyone gets it. And if I was there, I'd be pissed off as well. And a lot of people, like, apart from most of the people that were there that just happened to come from Chicago, those people flew out from, like, Australia, which is where I'm from. And Australia, it, like, belongs nowhere near the rest of the world. And we're far away from everything. And it was, like, a 20-hour flight to there. And most people had to pay for this ticket, which is expensive. Everything, just shipping letter to Australia costs, like, a million dollars. Let alone flying a human being from Australia to America. Like... It's insane and I get it. She's a human being. Treat her with respect. And booing her off the stage and throwing water bottles is just not cool at all. And that's actually really disappointing to see. After that, John Hankey got on stage and he was booed and he just wouldn't let him talk. If people just gave him a chance to speak, maybe this would have not been as bad as it was. Maybe he would have just tried to explain to everyone what happened. The best part was, and honestly, this is why I like John Hankey. He's so down to earth and so humble. When he got off the stage, he could have gone, got in a car, gone home. He could have gone hidden in the backstage somewhere. He didn't. He sat on the left side of the stage, talking to all the people there, signing, hanging out with the people there. And like, so then anyway, moving on, what happened was they announced that they were going be refunding the $20 tickets they were going to give $100 worth of poker coins to everyone who attended and also there was going to be a guaranteed Lugia catch for everyone which is great and I would have to say the point that saved this whole thing was when they decided to expand the Pokemon Go Fest out of the Grant Park into a two mile radius and I think that definitely potentially saved the game and saved the whole event and they extended it for 48 hours and that was a great great honestly a great move by Niantic because I think watching all the videos that I saw, everyone pretty much enjoyed it so much and, and they were saying it was literally the same thing as what happened on the first time the Pokemon Go was out and everyone was out in the streets running around working together with a group of friends and trying to catch all these legendaries and I think that was a solid, solid move by Niantic so well done there, well done. But the point of this is I think most people did have fun 
Most people caught the Pokemon they were given. Yes, the game didn't work that well, but it wasn't all Niantic's fault. Like, Niantic could have done all things to prepare for it. Like, I think definitely not such a small area because it's going to put pressure on one or two cell towers and they're not going to handle that many people playing at the same time. So that's probably one thing. And also, like, I'm just going to have to be honest, prepare better for such a huge amount of people to show up. If you're going to be expecting this many people, you're going to have to force cell providers to do something apart from just relying on the single cell tower to work. That's my 10 cents about the whole Pokemon Go Fest. Now, remember, I'm not paid by Niantic. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Niantic. I did not, they did not fly me out to Pokemon Go Fest. I was not contacted by them, so I can say whatever the hell I want, and it doesn't really matter. And these are genuinely my thoughts. I just think it's not everything's their fault and the reaction from the crowd wasn't the greatest and obviously I totally understand the frustration and people having to fly out. I totally get it. There's certain things that, you know, that was out of their hands and I think they did the best they could to make that a lot better. So well done and props to Niantic there. I honestly can't wait for another Pokemon Go event and I genuinely hope something happens in Sydney where I live because I'll be awesome. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what your take on this is down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.